guys welcome back to my channel i hope you've all been well thank you for bearing with me obviously I had last week off because it was planner launch and it was huge it was absolutely incredible and i'll be sharing the planners with you later today but i had such a busy week last week i was I revealed a planner every single day and then we had pre-sales on friday which was incredible um but yes i'm just kind of taking you along with me for the day today so i've got Got to go to work um, and very exciting news. We are finally out of lockdown. So your girl got her hair done yesterday for the first time in four months, which was amazing. So yes, I'm so happy to finally have my hair done. But in saying that, I know, you know, Victoria are coming out soon. And I just, I don't know, every time I, obviously like with New South Wales, we're starting to get our freedom back. Even yesterday when I shared I got my hair done, I felt really guilty. So my family live in Victoria and I wanted to say, like just acknowledge, you know, those of you who are still in the thick of it at the moment. I just don't want to be insensitive um, to those who are still, you know, in lockdown and it's just such a mental battle. It's like we were in lockdown for four months. And I can't even imagine what Victoria's gone through. So I just wanted to kind of just acknowledge that. And yeah. Life is slowly going back to normal. My cousin, Sam, is actually living with us for a little while. She got a permit, obviously, as well. But, yes, yeah, she is living with us for a little while. So you'll see her around. If you see a random lady in, my, in the background of my vlogs. She also works me full-time as well, which is really, really handy to have her here in person instead of, like, her working remotely. And, obviously, she's like a sister to me as well. So it's really nice to have her around. And the kids, like, missed her so much. And I'm like, well, she lives with us now. So enjoy. <laughs> Last week was really tough mum guilt wise as i said we had a look like i launched a planner every night and i just felt like i wasn't really present with the kids and it really did it just made me feel terrible and it's just like no matter what you do i feel like if you stay at home or you're not stay at home or whatever you do as for work like i feel like you're always going to get that mum guilt even though like some weeks i do have to work a bit more than usual it is in a way good for the girls to see you know their mum doing what she loves, t chasing her dreams. And I just hope that the girls can grow up and see that they can do the same thing. But yeah, so it's like a little kind reminder to myself of, you know, my purpose and all that, but it is hard having kids and then, you know, still trying to follow your passions and stuff and not feel selfish for it is such a huge thing that I do struggle with. But I kind of like try to remind myself, like, because I do work for myself, I'll never miss like a concert or a sports game or whatever they have on. But that was like kind of my thought process last week. But yes, today is Tuesday. Everyone is still asleep and it's 10 to seven. My kids are asleep. Great time, but yeah, a bit crazy. I always have to check on them. I always freak out when they sleep in. I'm like, are you alive? But yeah, so I wanna have my coffee. I'm just planning my day ahead and my week ahead as well with my planner. And then I'm going to Yep, they're awake now. And then I'm gonna get ready and go to work. And I'm also really trying, now that you know the planner launch is done, I'm trying to clock off work a little bit early because I do start work early. So I'm like, no, you know, you're your own boss. When it, so today, my cousin and I, we're going to the beach at three because we're very lucky. Obviously, we like the beach is local. I wanna try and spend a lot more time in nature, especially this week coming out of like a busy week. I just want to be out in nature. I want to go for a walk this morning as well once I get the kids sorted for the day. But yeah, I just really want to try and allow myself that time because I've noticed too, like I've said, like even just having plants have really helped with my anxiety and my mental state. And I knew I really wanted to make this lockdown different to last time because last lockdown I went into a really bad habit. I was binge drinking. I was, I've talked about this before, but I did. And, you know, we all put on weight, which is normal, but mentally I was not great. So this, this lockdown, that's why I was like, no, I'm going to invest in like some gym stuff or well, a fair bit of gym stuff. And I just really focused on, you know, a hobby, which for me, usually a hobby is like my job. It's work and like organizing, but I wanted it to be something completely outside of work. So plants, honestly, was a really good little thing for me. So even like I want to try and get into like paint by numbers to do in the afternoons to kind of wind down if the kids let me but yeah anyways guys i want to get cracking because i have to get these kids sorted and get ready for work for the day
So Sam has just informed me how this is Sam. <laughs> Hi, this is Sam. <laughs> I'm Samantha. <laughs> this is Samantha. Um, no, her name's not actually Samantha. Anyway, um, Sam just told me that it's going to rain this afternoon. So we're now not going to the beach. Yeah, it's all of that for us. It's really, really fun. Great time. So the one time we plan to go. Yeah. That's fine. Sam is here. Sam is here. Yeah. <laughs> Another news, Willow is four and a couple of months. I'm not ready for it. When did you get so big? I'm in castle. I just gotta get ready for work. Down, 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 down. Down, down, down. Good morning, Mr. Pace. Good morning. Hey. Were you proud of me last week? Oh, I was. Crazy. Killed it. It's people from like France. Even um Antarctica. Uh, there wasn't. Antarctica, like, yeah. No. There wasn't a... There was. There's a little dot on the map. There's actually a, a dot. So on the... the when Pacific you, Ocean or something. When you look, like have your Shopify account and you have like... You can see where people are on. And there was like dots all over the world where people are on. Like a couple of dots were literally in the middle of the ocean. But there was like no land. <laughs> so we'll try to figure out like are they on a the boat? They're just keen followers. They're just out in the middle <laughs> of the ocean. And we have to ship them all out. Yeah. That's your job. <laughs> So, my job. so was the launch. You, the whole thing well, was your job, well, right? Well, soon you've got to build us a house, love. Yeah. Have so much room for plants in the new house. Oh. oh, and like watering cans, pink watering cans. So excited. Ryan secretly loves my plants, so don't you? I haven't killed any. How long do you think our new house is going to take to build? Uh, I reckon we'll a be week. here by 2028. No. No, we're not. Yeah, because we... A year Stop to build... Stop lying. You're such a liar. A year to build six years to get the plants. <laughs> Pretty much. It doesn't feel real though. Don't you reckon it doesn't feel real? No, it doesn't. Probably because we haven't started yet. Probably. <laughs> We've started the process. Yeah. We're just waiting for the go ahead and then yeah. we start. So hopefully we're going to get it all site cut before Christmas. Yeah. That's the plan. The The new house is a split level, level home and it's quite like a steep block. So it's going to take quite a while to like cut to the ground. Yeah, about four weeks I reckon, site cut. Yeah. Anyway, I ought to get to work. So do I. Oh, just stop putting me on camera, I can go. <laughs> got a dopamine rush, got a major league crush when you're next to me. Got my heart upon my sleeve, can I hide the way I feel when you're next to me, girl? Trying to make sure I use like sunscreen every day now. I know it's super important, but I bought this on Mecca. It's really good so far. It doesn't make me shiny, which is really good. So I thought I'd quickly share that. Um, Cause yeah, obviously now your girl's 31 on Tuesday. So I need to keep young. brain today i literally drove for three quarters of the way to work and realized i forgot my lunch at home it's like sitting by the door literally sometimes i worry
Tuesdays, usually at work, I do like invoices and payroll. It's more like an admin day. I feel like when I, because I wear so many hats, I have to really time block and schedule like different tasks of the business for each day of the week. So like Monday, there's usually a lot of meetings, um, like game plan for the week, usually product development updates and stuff as well. And then Tuesdays is like admin invoicing payroll for the team. And then Wednesday, I try to do more like content, like be more creative. And then Thursdays is product development. So different days of the week, I do different things. So it kind of just helps me keep on top of everything really. So anyway, I'm gonna quickly show you guys through my 2022 planners. The launch went so crazy. I've already sold out of the lilac and the sage. I just didn't order enough. So obviously it takes ages to get manufactured. And as a small business, like right now, it's really hard with stock, getting it here, everything. So yeah, so I didn't order enough clearly. And you guys have already bought over over half my stock that was meant to last me till April, which is insane. Like I'm so, so grateful. But these planners are just next level. Like I'm so proud of them. Like I put in so much work. Anyway, I'm gonna stop yapping and show you the planners. This is for anyone who, I guess, who missed it as well. So I'm gonna show you now. So we've got some new colors this year. So I'll quickly take you through the OG, which is the, the beautiful signature planner. This is super pretty. And I love this too, because I basically made it even more functional than before. Isn't she gorgeous? That's the cover. So basically the big changes this year is, one of my favorites is the back. So there's a removable shopping list, which is super cool. I'm gonna link you guys to all of these below because there's proper videos, like walkthrough videos, and I don't wanna make the whole vlog about the planners. So I'm only gonna quickly do a recap for you guys. But for you, those of you who are new to Seth Pace planners, it's my brand of planners. So I've got like stuff like yearly reflections in there. Um, you've got your challenges. So as you guys know, I love doing like the declutter challenge for you guys. So it's all like free challenges, but these ones I've got ones for the planners. So you've got like your declutter challenge, your healthy habits challenge, and there's two new ones. So the new ones, which I love, stuffing your pantry and a digital detox challenge. So they're little challenges you can just do throughout the year whenever you want. Um, and you just want some like inspiration. And then I've changed the monthly to a double spread. So that's the monthly overview, which is now, which is now a double spread. And then I've added in this new monthly overview organizer page. So it's got like focus, habits you want to break, habits you want to make, self-care bills, important dates and reminders, and then like a reset checklist. So you, all you guys know my house reset I do. I kind of do like a weekly reset list for you guys as well. So that is the list there. Isn't it amazing? And it's just going to be so good to get you set up for the week. It's brain dumping pages. And then in each week I've actually, because I've got the shopping list notepad at the back now, I've put your meal planning in each week spread. And then you've also got a weekly checklist at the top as well. Isn't that amazing? I'm so excited. The weekly spread there. But yeah, so that's a little insight in that to the signature. And there's home, health, budget, and life admin sections as well. So that's the OG, and she comes, well, she came in sage, but you guys bought them all. The most popular is always, oh, most popular is always the blush signature. She's the OG. So I'll be using this plus the new business planner, which I'll show you very soon. So that's that one. I'll quickly show you the sage, which is absolutely beautiful. It is the most prettiest color. It doesn't even do it justice, but that's the sage. So you can see in there. This is beautiful. I can't wait. I can't wait for you guys to get them. And then I also have her in grey. This is gorgeous. So they're the three signatures. I do so many photo shoots to get all the content for these. In a month, I think I did like five photo shoots. <laughs> so the essential planner, um, again for those who are new, is a more compact, lightweight version of my planners. So it's a vegan leather, so cruelty free. Isn't that beautiful? So yeah, more compact, and then you've got your weekly spread that looks like that. It's got the challenges in there as well. All my planners have the challenges because I don't want to let you guys miss out. And you've also, in the back, so you've got your project planner, you've got your cleaning planner, your budget. So it's kind of got the must-have planning bits in the back because obviously it's a more compact version. So this baby comes in the lilac, which sold out. This colour. Isn't that amazing? 
It is the most prettiest lilac I've ever seen. I'll definitely be making notebooks of these, like just lilac notebooks. And also the gray. This one, so pretty. I love them that much. So that's them. Again, this is a really dodgy quick recap because again, I don't want this vlog to go forever and just be about my planners. So introducing the very new planner, which is the daily. So this is for those who want a planner that is a day to a page. And it's for those of you who literally kind of want to really like live in the moment for like, obviously with me, like I do like having a weekly spread, but this is for those who like to live day to day, like really plan out each day, be really productive. So it only comes in the one color, which is blush. So beautiful. Like I'm so proud of this one. Sorry about the lighting guys. I don't know what is happening. So this one again has, you know, your challenges. And then this is an example of the layout and how you fill it in, but I will show you properly. But you've got your challenges in there. And obviously, because this is a day to a page, it doesn't have as many of like the organizing pages at the back. But I will tell you what's in there at the back. You've got your cleaning planner. You've got your password keeper. Your books to read, notes, and stickers. Which all my planners have these gorgeous stickers, which is so cute. So you've got heaps of room to write. You've got self-care, movement, water tracker gratitude you got your meals and then like notes and then stuff to list for the next day so that is each spread isn't that gorgeous so happy with them so that's a really quick summary of that one and then the big guys which i won't be able to show you much of because they're huge these are the new business planners so creating my own business i wish i literally had this because it's like the bible for business so basically gathered experts in each field and all the knowledge and things i've learned along the way and I've popped it into this planner. So this is for those who have a side hustle, wanting to start your own business, have your own business. You can even work um, definitely as a social media like content planner. It's beautiful. So it comes in blush and also, oh, so black, which is a new color for us. And that's her in black. Isn't that beautiful? Like she just looks so nice. So this one, it's got social media, a biz overview, branding, finance stuff, admin, how to step your business. So I should tell you how to organize your business and it's in this baby. So I'll quickly show you. It's all like stuff to help, you know, really organize your business, but make it grow and thrive as well. So you've got stuff like to-do list, key dates and promotions, projects and ideas. And then it's, this is an A4, like the inside pages are A4 and each day is half a page. So that is what the spread looks like inside. So your to-do list, top three priorities, notes, but there's just so much in here. So, so beautiful. And then at the back, I've got so much um, education, so much. You even got a plastic sleeve for receipts, branding, it's everything. It is just gorgeous. And also, of course, we've got business stickers. Honestly, this um, summary doesn't even do it justice, but just go check it out. If you want to see all of it, go check it out. It was honestly just incredible. So it's a really nice, like, grey look on the inside. So that's your weekly spread, your weekly organiser. It's just gonna, it's gonna organize your business so nicely. Education pages, budget, everything. So yeah, so excited for that. I hope you love that really quick recap of all my planners for 2022. Um, I have been getting a lot of questions about the sage and the lilac and if I'm gonna be restocking them. I'm going to get more manufactured, but it won't be here till the end of Feb. So it just depends. Just remember, I've still got the other ones. It's just the lilac and the sage that are sold out. I didn't get enough manufactured because I just didn't know how popular they were gonna be. But yeah, um, I hope you guys love and I do ship worldwide too because I do get a lot of questions about that from YouTube. Uh, but yeah, I do ship worldwide as well. Anyways, I need to get back to doing my invoicing and payrolls. Otherwise, the girls won't get paid. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try and head home early today and try and just have that time for myself. We've been on and off again and again. I don't know which way we're going. No control. You push me, then you pull me back in. 
Don't know if I can decipher how your mind works. Yeah, you leave me wondering what it's like to feel your skin. I will keep on trying till you give me a sign. Give me a sign. Ah,、oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more. You leave me hanging, begging for more. Think that I'm addicted to this, can't resist to be a little risky and go for it 'cause I want you close. I'm so exposed when you're keeping me wondering. You know I'd do anything to be in your arms again. So give me a sign, give me a sign, ah,、oh, give me a sign, baby, give me a sign. Give me one more. Talking to you. Here we go again. Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me. Where do we go from here? I wanna go all in. So give me a sign. Alright, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. I'm gonna head off now. Hopefully, today's vlog wasn't too all over the place. Today was so busy at work, and I just kind of feel like I kind of forgot to vlog a little bit. But anyway, I did spend this afternoon, as you saw, just. Pampering myself a little bit, especially when you're a mum, it's hard to find like pockets of time where you just can kind of just be by yourself, do things that make you feel better. So I love like lighting a candle, putting on my diffuser, making myself feel like nice and fresh, have a nice hot shower and stuff like that. I just I don't know, it does really make a big difference for me, especially in my mood as well.、It、helps me like slow down a little bit. Anyways, please let me know、um, if you have any questions and what you'd like to see for next week's vlog, and I'll see you then. Bye. I don't know which way we're going. No control. You push me, then you pull me.